We're now joined by Coach Craig Hunter of the Jefferson Cougars after the team's loss to Spring Mills to open up the season. Coach, uh, obviously didn't go how you would expect um, with you guys in Spring Mills after usually you know expecting a close game. But I guess just what do you think went wrong as you look back on it? Um, you know, as looking back on it and watching film, um, you know, there were some things we just didn't do well. Um, you know, I've talked to the players and the team about it and the coaching staff. I, I didn't think we blocked well. Uh, obviously, we didn't tackle well. We just And we also had some missed opportunities, you know. Every time we had a situation where there might have been a big play for us, it just didn't go the way we needed it to go. Um, and then, you know, that, those are the things that a lot of those things can be fixed between that last week and this week. So, you know, we took some time, watched the film, discussed the things, and uh, got back to the grind uh, Saturday. So, you know, that's what we tried to do uh, to make sure we can we can get some things shored up and get better uh, this week. Coach, uh, just to, for a second, uh, ask you about the uh, the opponent that you just had. Uh, Spring Mills has a lot of uh, you know high expectations for this year, and I think a lot of people came out of that game uh, thinking a, uh, really highly of them because of the fact that you guys were able to beat them last year. What what did you see from Spring Mills? Uh, you know, in, the, in terms of you know how they might have impressed you. Um, I mean, they, I mean they get after it. They're physical. Um, you know, we I mean I, they we knew exactly what was, you know, what was going to transpire, what they were going to try to do. Uh, we just had problems with stopping it. I mean, they're, they're physical. They got after it. Uh, you know, they were they were definitely uh, playing on an emotional high uh, that night. The energy was really up. Um, they're going to be a good team. They're going to be a, they're going to be a tough out. I mean, anybody that goes up against them is going to have a hard time uh, beating them if they continue to play at the level they played against us on Friday night. So, I mean, that, that's just pretty much, you know, what I saw from them, you know, Coach, uh, Friday. Coach, um, obviously, you know, your team has high expectations, too. How do you make sure that that loss doesn't carry over into a uh, bad season just because it is just one game? Uh, I mean, you know, football's a game of week to week. Uh, so, you know, like I said, we go back. We go back, we watch film, we, we see what mistakes we made, uh, what mistakes you know, we made as a collective group, you know, what mistakes, what mistakes um, the athletes might have made in assignments, what mistakes we might have made as coaches in uh, certain situations of game planning or what we might have done wrong in that aspect of it. And we just fix it. We fix it, clean it up, and, um, you know, the key thing is, is to get better each week. Every day is an opportunity to get better. Um, so, you know, what we're going to do with today is that, that day is we're going to get better. Today we're going to get better. So, I mean, that's what, we, that's what we try to do. We try to fix the things that we can fix, um, continue to get better, keep the kids' spirits up, let them know it's just one game. You know, we always um, follow through something. You know, I've always had a saying that was given to me when I was a young playing football. Uh, nothing's as good as it seems. Nothing's as bad as it seems. Somewhere in the middle, reality's going to fall. So, you know, we stay with that mantra. The kids know that mantra. Uh, when I start to say it, they already start to say it with me. So it's what it is. I mean, nothing's as good as it seems. Nothing's as bad as it seems. You know, we got to get to work and, and get in the middle of what reality is. Uh, so that's, that's what we're going to work on today. That's what we worked on Saturday. That's what we worked on yesterday. Getting better. Uh, obviously, you still have a very talented team here, despite, you know, it's just one loss. So, you know, you can still have a great season out of that. What are some strengths that you think, you know, coming out of that game and, you know, even just from from training camp and early practices as well, uh, that you still want to lean on for your team and say, hey, okay, maybe we need to, we want to emphasize this a little more to play to our strengths here? I mean, we, I thought we, I mean, we were, we were kind of trying to play to our strengths a little bit. You know, we were trying to get the ball um, to our athletes. Uh, and if you, I mean, if you, in any parts of the game, there were times that we were able to use the speed factor as far as getting behind the defense. Um, you know, either we just 
it just didn't just didn't go the way we wanted to go. I mean, either we didn't complete the pass, whether one fast or another, whether it was, you know, whether it was didn't have time to get the ball to the guy, or whether it was just, uh, you know, maybe maybe a drop ball, maybe an Aaron throw. Um, I mean, that's just things that you know that we had, and maybe if we had been able to to get going a little bit, we couldn't get going. It kind of started off bad. And then from that point on, it just kind of just kind of snowballed and got away from us. Uh, but you know, getting to that point, uh, getting the ball to those 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 guys that we have in space, and being able to utilize that speed that we have, uh, would make a would make a big difference in our games. And I guess what we're going to still try to do is you know utilize the speed that we have, uh, and then try to connect to get the the ball to those those gentlemen in space offensively. And that's what we got to try to do to get points on the boards, get the ball to our dynamic players. Coach, you have Sharando this week. They come in 1-0. and um, Lost to them last year in triple overtime, so obviously a team that uh, you, know, you guys have good history with in terms of good games. So uh, what are some things you're seeing from Sharando this year? Uh, typical Sharando team. Um, they're, they're big up front. Um, they're physical um, from the game that we saw. I don't know it's because they didn't have to, but um, they didn't throw the ball a lot. I'm not saying they can't, but they didn't throw the ball a lot. They're gonna, they're gonna, and they're especially probably, um, they're probably gonna run the ball right at us. See if we can stop them. So you know, we, we're making plans to get ready for that defensively. Um, offensively, we see some things that some that um, in their in their defense that we can that we can we can work on to get some be successful with offensively uh, and then we've seen some film on them where what they might do to uh counteract what we're going to do so we got we got counters for their we got counters for their counters and what they're going to do so um we're just going to continue to work on that we'll start today working on it again we did a little bit yesterday and we'll go out today and continue to work on uh doing the best things we can do to get a try to get a victory this week, All right, Coach. I want to ask you about uh, your quarterback. Obviously, coming in from uh, freshman uh, at first, and now kind of progressing through his career. Uh, what have you? How do you feel about uh, Dylan Harrich and, and his progression uh, coming into this season as as your starter again? And uh, what you want to see from him from the rest of the season, especially against uh, Sharanda this week? Um, you know, I, I, this week, I mean, some of the same stuff. I mean, Dylan's Dylan's done a great job for us. Um, you know, he's he's come in. He's a dual threat quarterback. Um, he can run the ball. He can throw the ball. I thought I thought Friday night. Um, you know, I thought Dylan read wise made some good reads. Um, like sometimes I thought, you know, I thought he made some good reads. I thought he did a good job in that aspect. Um, whether you know whether the ball came out of his hand right or whether he got pressure, you know we talked on the sideline. He saw what he needed to see. Either something happened or whatever happened. Um, you know I thought I think he's been doing a great job. Uh, he's continually doing a great job. We still continue to talk and watch and, and talk about film and talk about what they're going to do. So he he understands what he's going to see Friday night. He knows that and. Uh, you know, the more he understands that, the better prepared he can be to make sure we get the ball out of his hands quick and get the ball into the uh, our playmakers. And he's also one of our playmakers, so we got to make sure we can get him going early in the game. All right, Coach, we'll get to our uh, fun question this week. The uh, <laughs> the okay, NFL. What, what is it this week? The NFL uh, kicks off this week. So, do you have a favorite pro team, and then do you have a Super Bowl prediction? Um, yes, I do have a favorite pro team. Um, my favorite pro team is the Dallas Cowboys. Um, my Super Bowl prediction from the AFC side, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to bet against Patrick Mahomes. Um, it's very hard to bet against Patrick Mahomes. Um, NFC side, not, um, as much as I as much as I love my Cowboys, I'll probably say probably either San Francisco or maybe Detroit. Um, you know, I think you know what San Francisco does. 
what Shanahan does with that offense is is spectacular. And the way uh, Campbell's coaching and got the got the uh, Lions playing is on another level. You know, I think I think they uh, are won more games had he not taken the fourth down chances he 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 had taken and left points off the off the field off the field uh, by kicking field goals but by not kicking the field goals. So. Yeah, it'll probably be one of those two teams for me, uh, and I keep my fingers crossed, hoping my Cowboys can do something spectacular. But they always get in the playoffs and and hurt me. <laughs> Coach Thomas picked your Cowboys to go to the Super Bowl, so he did. Is he a is he a Cowboy fan? He said he's he was not. a Ravens fan, but then he also picked the Bengals. I, I, yeah, so yeah. I don't know. He also said he's not much of an NFL guy, so you know, <laughs> I guess we have to take it for what we will. <laughs> yeah, I just. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm not a. Um, I guess you would say I'm not one of the. One of the. I guess the cowboy fans that everybody talks about says that we always the ones that we're, we're always we're going to the Super Bowl. Nah, I'm realistic about it. Uh, I think I think they have a potential to possibly get there, but they got a tough schedule this year, and they seem to always let me down in the playoffs. <laughs> so, you know. I go realistically, so Mahomes and the Chiefs, and then possibly the um, Lions or Niners. All right, Coach. Well, uh, good luck this week, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.